Hi guys and welcome to Journey to Journeyman episode number 28. And on this episode, I make a pulley. Uh, first time ever making a pulley. And uh, the reason I uh, made this is because on my Atlas Horizontal Mill, the original pulley here has the hole is a little too big and it uh, has a little weeble wobble in it. And so I machine a brand new pulley and spoiler alert this this one is not the real one the real one's on the machine I had to make it twice anyway if you want to see how I did that stick around there's a wobble in this pulley that I tried to fix and I'll show you the wobble I'm talking about I tried to fix it by making a new shaft. I thought the shaft might be out of whack. But it looks like it's the pulley itself, so I think I'm going to ream it out and put a sleeve in it. Alright, so that's there. 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 And there. Looks pretty good. Let's see how she see how she spins. I may have to call an audible on this guys. I didn't clamp down on this thing super tight at all and uh, it looks like it's trying to, to break off on me. Um, so I don't want to tear it up too bad. Um, so I think I may try uh, good, 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 good. I don't know why that's kind of separating there, but I think I may make a whole new pulley. So I poured some aluminum in a soup can, and now I'm going to machine it into a pulley. So I noticed some pores on the one end of this pour so I'm going to try to machine it uh, flat and then use the other end. Now I've watched several videos on making pulleys and some turn between centers but others uh, do it straight in the chuck and uh, with that with the stick out you need to put a center in and that's what I did. I'm going to go with the using the center method. And as you can see, I've been cutting dry. Well, I just took some axle grease. It's really just some grease I stuck on there. You can see it's kind of greenish. And just to see how it would uh, cut. So I ran some Scotch-Brite around here because I just wanted to see what kind of aluminum, how many pores and all of that. And actually, there's some pores in it, but not horrible. So I think I'm going to go ahead start roughing 
about right where I need to be. So I'll start roughing down this diameter on here. Okay, I'm going to go over about 700,000. So let's do that. And I'm yeah. using that to try to do that. So... One, two, All right, got the little one roughed out. Now I'm going to rough out the big one. And as you can hear, a fan just shut off. And that's the loudest part of this lathe is the, the fan on the VFD. This thing is absolutely whisper quiet. I love how quiet it is, but the VFD makes the most noise with the fan. Well, there she bees all roughed in. This is the... This is going to be the two-step pulley right here. Dimensions look pretty good too. All right. Now I know that WD-40 is a great cutting oil for aluminum, but I had some regular old steel cutting oil right there, so I just used that for a little bit until it stopped chattering and then I stopped using it. Now what you're seeing now is me coming in on a 15 degree angle. And uh, what I did was get the center a part of the pulley down to the dimension and now I'm taking the angle cuts. All right, let's get the left side of that one done. Now the reason I'm doing the left side is just so I don't have to set the compound up on the 15 degrees the other way. I'll do both of the ones that come in this way and then I'll turn it around and do the other side. So now that I've finish the ones coming in from uh, uh, right to left. Now I'm going to do the ones coming in left to right. After drilling a half inch, I need to go up about 120 thousandths, and now I bore the last 120 thousandths. And just as a sanity check, I want to make sure that it fits the belt that it goes for, and it fits really nice. Oh, <laughs> then disaster struck. I forget that this one reads how much is coming off and not in halves. Uh, so that's a little... <laughs> oh dear. So that's loose. And as it turns out, this one's even more loose than the original pulley that I took off. Well... That's as far as I can get with the parting tool. So, here goes nothing. <laughs> it started off nice, and then I oversized that. I'm going to cut that off. Maybe we can make it work. We'll see. Well, the half full side of the glass says, well, it had this big old void in it anyway, so let's make a new one.
I'm not going to bore you because most of the steps here are the same, but this is the original aluminum, aluminum that I had planned on making this pulley with, but uh, it is so close to the outer dimension that I went with the fatter stuff. Okay, I'm going to do something a little non-standard. It's hard to get down in there and measure, so I'm going to just start taking off of the sides. I'm going in at a 15 degree angle now. Now the reason I didn't use this in the, the first time is because you can see the ridges along there. Uh, they will be about the outer size of the pulley, but by about 20 thousandths under. So that's why I went with the, the fatter can. Okay, I measured out from here, and now I'm going to face this thing off to the correct length. Okay, I did some banging around. And now she's running true again. And now, to <laughs> got to face this thing off. But I got to re-measure this again. <laughs> and so what I'm trying to do is line it up so that two of those ridges will be the high spots on the pulley. And I was able to do that. And just like the first one, got to do a quick sanity check to make sure that the belt does in fact fit. And it does. Well guys, I'm befuddled. Ow. I, uh, I wanted it to slide on there. It's about, um, I don't know, I may have overshot that dimension again. So let's cut it off and see if it'll work. Well, I wasn't going to clean that up until I made sure that it worked, but I've already cleaned up the lathe, but the hole needs to be widened a little bit. If I take this off, it's fully widened. There's just a little lip right there, so I've got to remove it. So what happened on the first time is the hole got too big because I didn't measure it. I didn't, didn't think it was at the right size that I need to measure it yet. Well, on this one, what I do is I get it within like one or two thousandths. And instead of taking a spring pass, I dialed in like, uh, actually it's like three thousandths. Well, I dialed in three thousandths without taking a spring pass first. And that took off a lot more than three thousandths. Okay, so let's go see. Let's get a set screw in here and uh, See if this is good. Okay, much better. Um, I made my hole again a little bit too large by about maybe five thousandths of an inch and got a little, very little run out. I'll show you that. See, that is way, way, way better. Here's the first one I did. And it uh, looks pretty good, but, you know, I made the hole too big, but and looking at it in the back there was you know a big old spot there so I didn't even finish machining that but uh, it just too too weebly wobbly again and there's a third one well the second one that I machined and it uh, looks really good and performs pretty well like again I oversized the hole just a little bit and there's all the swarf from that plus 
a little bit more that I'm going to put in there from it as well. Hi guys, I'd like to share a couple of lessons learned. Um, I don't know why I'm saying this because it's the same lesson learned every time which is measure twice, cut once. Um, I have this problem where I get a, 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 any type of thing, I get it about 95% done and I'm so patient up to that point. And then that last 5%, I lose my patience and want to go fast. And that's when I make all my mistakes. I did that twice. And on this first one, this pulley really is a good looking pulley. But um, the back side had a hole in it from the, the aluminum that I poured in the soup can. And I don't know what it is, but when I use uh, charcoal, I mean the aluminum's almost perfect. But when I use propane, it uh, gets the, you know, more pores in it. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the temperature is hotter and that I pour it hotter, but um, I really like the aluminum I do with the uh, charcoal, but it's just so inconvenient compared to the propane. I'm going to have to try to figure that out. But anyway, I loved making this pulley. It turned out, it looks beautiful. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope to see you again on the next Journey to Journeyman.